Hello and welcome to another edition of Conspirator Brock's Pull List. This is my pull list for the week of May 10th, 2017. So uh, it's a small week this week, uh, but of course this month has five Wednesdays in it, so it's going to be scattered around a little bit. Uh, first up we have Action Comics number 979. Uh, we have Revenge Part 1. Looks like uh, the ro a rogues gallery of Superman villains is going to be coming after the Man of Steel. So uh, it's been really, really good read so far uh, overall for what's uh, come out of Rebirth with uh, action. So I really enjoy checking it out every week or every, yeah, every two weeks I think that one comes out. Next up we have uh, All-Star Batman and number 10, uh, The First Ally Part 1. Um, curious to see where this story goes. Uh, Scott Snyder does an amazing, amazing job on the All-Star stuff. Um, so yeah, really, really good book to pick up. And next up we have Batman Teenage Mutant Ninja Tur Turtles Adventures number 6. Uh, this is the variant cover I picked up. I preferred this over the main cover. But it's just fun little uh, book with the Batman advan Adventures, Batman and the uh, Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So, uh, yeah, I enjoy it. Next up we have Detective Comics number 956. We continue the League of Shadows story arc. Detective has been a really, really good book. Um, so for those of you who haven't checked it out, I do recommend you tr uh, try and grab one of those first trades and see if you like it. Next up, we have Disney's Frozen number seven. Uh, this is from Joe's Limited Books. Joe's Books Limited. Um, uh, I basically get this for my daughter. Uh, we haven't caught caught up on a few issues, but uh, yeah, they're they're for her. Uh, and then we got Disney Pixar's Cars number four. Uh, again, my son likes cars, so we need to get into reading those. I think I have all four issues to read with him. Um, but yeah, <sighs> fun, fun times. Next up, we have Eternal Warrior Awakening number one. Uh, this is the new Eternal Warrior book. I'm curious to see what it's all about. The last Eternal Warrior series have been good. There's just been a bunch of mini series. Um, so I'm curious to see how this one pans out. Next up, we have Hal Jordan and the Green Lantern Corps, number 20. Uh, we continue the Prism of Time story arc. Uh, Rip Hunter's in it. It's awesome. Um, I can't wait to see where it goes. Next up, we have uh, Justice League of America, number 6. Heart of a Bastich continues. Um, so we'll see what happens with the Justice League or the other Batman and the Outsiders. Uh, yeah. Next up is a book I pick up just to continue the series, but I don't actually get a chance to read it because it's more of like a book reading than comic book reading, and that's the Lazarus Source Book, Volume Two for Hawk, um, the family Hawk. So, eh, I mean, I'll put it with my collection. Maybe one day I'll read it. Uh, next up, we have Red Hood and the Outlaws, Number Ten. Uh, who is Artemis? Continues. Um, but we're apparently going with uh, Back to the Death of Jason Todd. So, we'll see. I'm not big on Red Hood and The Outlaws. We'll see if it, I continue to read it. Um, but for the most part, um, it's probably one of the books that's on the bottom half uh, of of my pull list. Which means that it's most likely going to get cut to either read or not at all. Uh, next up we have Suicide Squad number 17. Uh, Earthlings on Fire. Uh... I flipped through this earlier, and it's pretty good. Um, I've, ever since Romita Jr., uh, his art has gone away. Uh, I've been really excited to read Suicide Squad again. Uh, I mean, it's not the best story overall, but um, I do like the characters, and I do like uh, the interactions and and uh, where uh, DC seems to be taking the team as a whole. So, yeah. Next up, we have uh, Superwoman number 10, uh, Rediscovery Part 1. Uh, looks like we're going to get back to uh, Lana Lang being a uh, inventor scientist lady. So yeah, some people seem to not like Superwoman very much. I enjoy the book. Uh, it's one of those middle of the road books. Uh, I could take it or leave it technically, but I still enjoy picking it up for now. So uh, next up we have Titans number eleven, and this is starts the Lazarus contract part one. Uh, this is going to cross over with uh, Deathstroke, Titans, and I believe Teen Titans, yep. Uh, so we'll see uh, whether or not I enjoy this crossover event. Uh, I, so that means I'm going to have to read Deathstroke, and I'm going to, but I 
which is I don't pick up and I don't read, um, but that's okay. And then also uh, Teen Titans, which I'm it's I'm debating whether or not to keep that one. And last up on the pull list is Wonder Woman number 22. This is the God Watch story arc. So this is the stuff in the past, or is it present? I don't remember. I get lost. I think this is the stuff in the present. So, yeah, but Wonder Woman Rucka's been doing an amazing job on Wonder Woman. Uh, really, really fantastic. I'm super, super excited, uh, even though a little hesitant uh, about the Wonder Woman movie coming out in less than a month. So, yeah. Um, I did pick up some variant covers this week. Um, first one is for Action Comics number 979, the Gary Frank cover. Uh, awesome, awesome stuff there. Uh, also, our Batman had a few variants, and uh, I went ahead and snagged up the two that we had. I think that's, there's only three total, because uh, I like the covers. I thought they were pretty cool, so I went ahead and got those. Uh, Detective Comics, of course, for a 956 had its variant. There, so I grabbed that one. Justice League of America, number six, has the, I don't know what you call it, but uh, apparently everyone's wearing light armor. Um, I picked up this because it's Gillian March, but I'm not sure if I'm enjoying his art, uh, because Gillian March's art looks a little rushed, and this is the variant for Red Hood and the Outlaws at number 10. Um, I, Gillian March is a really, really solid artist, um, but he's one of those artists that you want him to take his time. Uh, so we'll see. Uh, next up is the variant for Suicide Squad number 10, and uh, it's Will Porcheo, or Porichio. Uh, his 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 Deadshot mask looks a lot fucking better this time, um, but uh, yeah, because it's looked pretty bad. And then last but not least, the uh, cover variant cover for Wonder Woman number 22 is out. Uh, a couple of trades came out, nothing really of noteworthy. Uh, the one I did pick up this week was the Star Wars Legends um, Epic Collection, The Rebellion Volume 2. Uh, I've been picking up the uh, Star Wars books from the early Marvel, or Marvel, or the Marvel and Dark Horse stuff before uh, the canon was reset. Uh, just for, because I, I like Star Wars and I want to kind of see what those books were like. I have not yet do dived into reading those, um, but I look forward to when I actually finally get a chance. And I did get a special order this week, and it is my Flash Glowing Symbol shirt. Um, yep, I, I don't know. All of my Flash shirts seem to be either too small or... Uh, I don't really wear them very often um, because I think I actually purchased them when I was a little bit of a, a little bit uh, smaller size, um, so they're a little tight. But uh, that's one for me now, so hopefully it works out fine. So uh, next up is the read list. Again, this is stuff that I read to, to stay current on more titles than I bring home. Um, and the, yes, the read list has been getting smaller. Um, and part of the reason for that is uh, at Comics Conspiracy, uh, the owner, Ryan, uh, really, really tries to hit the mark for uh, selling through a title um, on Wednesdays or by the next week um, and not having too many copies left over, especially of books that are not necessarily top sellers. Um, so for things like Batman and Flash and a lot of the DC Reaver titles, we order a little bit extra. So we have some on the shelf for a purchase at a later date. Um, but a lot of books now, uh, due to the fact of low print runs, low interest, all that stuff, there's no point in us keeping it. So, uh, one book that I was not able to pick up this week was Weapon X number three. Uh, hopefully we have enough copies for me to, uh, borrow one next week and, uh, check it out. But I have enjoyed the first two. So, but let's get into the read list, the stuff that I was able to take home. And first up is Bug Adventures of, of Forager. Uh, this is issue one. This is the new one from uh, Mike Aldred, uh, who pens and draws. Apparently he does everything. Oh, no, sorry. Lee Allred is doing the writing. Michael Allred is doing the art. And Laura Allred is coloring it. So, <laughs> the Allreds are all over this one. Uh, I'm, I'll check it out. I'll read it. It's a number one. 
Uh, next up we have uh, Lemire, one of Le I think it was one of Lemire's final issues on Old Man Logan, and that can we continue the past lives story arc that he's been penning. Um, it'll be sad when Lemire's off Old Man Logan, and hopefully the new creative team continues with the book and keeps it as, as good as they possibly can, but it's very difficult to follow Lemire's run on Old Man Logan. It was just really, really good. Uh, next up is a new, uh, I don't know if it's a new series per se, but it's a crossover event, and that's Star Wars Screaming Citadel number one of, of part one of five, uh, so this is Screaming Citadel one, uh, looks like we're taking Dr. Dr. Afra and Luke Skywalker and crossing them over, so curious to see how that pans out. And finally, on the read list is X-Men Blue number three, uh, I, I'll give it this issue, but I'm not, I have not been completely impressed with X-Men Blue, uh, so, yeah, I might not just, I might just stop reading it. So, yeah, so that's it for my pull list this week. Thanks for watching. Uh, please remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Leave your comments down in the comment section below. Uh, let me know what you got, what you picked up, what you're liking, all that wonderful stuff. I did watch Guardians of the Galaxy uh, this past week. Um, went with my son and uh, a co-worker and his daughter and a friend from the comic book store. Uh, we were supposed to go with my buddy Ryan who owns the shop, but he got a bad case of vertigo and couldn't go. But he had already seen it earlier on a free ticket for a Monday. Uh, but uh, overall, uh, I, I enjoyed Gardens of the Galaxy. There were some things that I did not like. Um, but for the most part, uh, it was an enjoyable movie. Uh, if you get a chance, I do recommend seeing it on the big screen because it just is an eye candy movie to the fullest. Um, you can hear more of my review and my fellow conspirators reviews over at, um, on our, the podcast that we finished recording tonight, a very long podcast on Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, that's episode 308 of the Comic Conspiracy. There'll be a link in the description below if you want to check that out. Uh, if you don't want to click that link and you just want to go to a URL, you can go to www.geekbox.net and uh, you can find us there or you can also find us on iTunes. If you are on iTunes and you listen to our podcast, please rate and review us. It helps boost us up in the ladder for recommendations. So, yeah. Um, you can help me and my fellow conspirators out at Patreon, www.patreon.com slash comic conspiracy. For as little as a dollar a month, you can get ac you get access to um, Bryce Briefly's, which are uh, my fellow co-host Bryce, who doesn't ever talk briefly, he has a briefly talk, and uh, Toby and Charlie, my other the other hosts that on the Conspiracy Podcast, they do a roundup, which is they talk about just general TV and not necessarily superhero TV. Um, plus, you also get any other content, so on and so forth. I know we're close to getting to the uh, backer reward of uh, we do uh, random comic reviews on the podcast, so. We'll see if we hit that number, um, but uh, it was always fun doing those, but we just stopped, but uh, maybe you guys will motivate us to do it some more. Uh, but to our Patreon backers, thank you. We do appreciate it. You keep us uh, paying hosting fees and getting some food and keeping us in some books. And it is much, much appreciated. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter. My handle is at Brock Sager. I do have a Snapchat, and I think it's bsager79 if you want to check me out there. I do a little bit there. Um, I have an Instagram account, but I don't remember what the, the thing is. But, uh, yeah, you can find me on all those social medias. Um, yeah. <sighs> Pretty much that's it. Uh, I know I need to get um, some statue um, videos up for you guys. I've been a little slacking on that. Um, but uh, yeah, a lot of stuff going on. So uh, I'm dead tired, and I have to get this up for you to enjoy. So I will see you next week.